Take a charge in jail for the year, dear mama. I don't want to break no more. I want to take the time. And I want to thank the Lord. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be alive to pray no more. When the guns go back, God won't let us go away. We got those four, five, and them enemies. Those coke rides and them killing sprees. My whole life is sending me. Change when God got into me. When the guns go Got those four, five, and those enemies, those coke riding them killing sprees. My whole life been sending me changed when God got into me.
This is the revolutionary album. What it is, everybody. This your boy, Mr. E. Boss of the Southside Bosses, coming to y'all. But uh, wait, I think this is the first episode of 2021. I may be lying. I forgot. Uh, it all starting to run together now. It still feels like 2020 a little bit, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that joke is old now, you know. That shit is over with. Let's get 2021 on and popping. And, you know, the best way to get it on and popping, I guess, is to attack this COVID-19 shit. So, you know, with this vaccine that's coming out, we uh, definitely run into some issues. So we're going to be talking about that tonight, especially with us black people. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, uh, we're going to have to discuss this a uh, little bit tonight. You know what I'm saying? And um, I hope y'all have something that y'all want to pitch in. If y'all want to pitch in, all you got to do is go to our website at spreaker.com forward slash mr underscore e. Or... Just Google BOSS Radio. You can also follow us on your favorite streaming service, so make sure you follow us on that website or subscribe to us on your favorite streaming service. We're on YouTube, iHeart, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, uh, Tidal, and more. You know, um, uh, did I say Spotify? I don't think I said Spotify anyways. But yeah, make sure y'all go and show us some love, you know what I said, because we're going to continue to bring y'all some of the best in the underground uh you know, underground hip hop, reggae, rap, R and B. You know, we're about to bring out poetry for Black History Month. So that starts now, but almost I think next Sunday. Is it? Nope, 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 no, no. Well, oh, we're gonna bring in Black History Month next Sunday with the uh, poetry jam. With the Black Poetry Jam uh, We got some great black poets From all over the United States So it's going to be definitely A great uh, Enjoyable time uh, l- Listening to some Great lyricists Because you know with, with poetry it's all about the lyrics So you know Making you vision things That you probably would have never been able to vision before You know so <laughs> Yeah I hope y'all tune in for that man and The only way you're going to know what's going down If you go ahead and go to our, at uh, Spreaker.com forward slash MR underscore E And follow us there That way you get that notification as soon Or if you subscribe to your uh, Favorite stream uh, On your favorite streaming service To Passionate Love Hour then you'll be able to uh, get them notifications as soon as they bar- they hit on there. You know what I'm saying? So it may be late night for y'all because, you know, we broadcast sort of like in the evening. So it may be late night for y'all. So that'll be perfect for you to cuddle up with your loved one. You know what I'm saying? You know how it go. I hope you cuddled up. Because this is passion now. Passion now. You know what I'm talking about? That's a little bit of passion now. We hope y'all cuddle up with y'all loving on that night. You know what I'm saying? Listen to some good poetry because it ain't going to be all about just revolution, you know. What's revolution without love? You know, what's a war without love? Without a great love for something, what are you really warring for? Greed. And we don't war for greed. We don't do that. Nah, not right here. <laughs> All right, but we're going to go ahead and get it moving. We got some more great music coming to y'all. Uh, we got uh, some music coming to y'all from your boy Cal Paradox with uh, fanboy Megan Mitz when he going off on Trump. You know, I, I know Trump out the office, but we got to have to make sure that we let him know fuck him still. You know what I'm saying? Fuck him, even though I, yeah, yeah. Fuck them, you know. <laughs> but then we gotta have some more uh, music coming from Immaculate with Paradise City. So y'all listen to the BOSS radio, and when we come back, black people, we gotta talk about what we're gonna do about this vaccine. And uh, we also gotta talk about the executive orders that Biden passed uh, that, that, that tackles uh, race. But y'all stay tuned for that because uh, I want y'all to hear something. It's on both of those subjects. I want y'all to hear something. I'll point out something to y'all. <laughs> you cannot have people disrespecting our national anthem, our flag, our country. Man, what the fuck? His you not know when white people massacred the natives and they started growing. Built a system to keep down the little man. I ain't crying like a bitch. I'm just saying, man, this shit's real out here. If you a darker complexion, you better do the speed limit through that intersection. I guess you gotta really live this shit to see the connection. And if you don't, you don't get to second guess it. Ass backwards, false patriotic cowards. Doing backflips over Kaepernick's protest. Hypocrites like that bitch in the White House. 
Trump ain't a man, he's more like a fucking mouse. Built for little hands, narrow minded puppet fans. You just a little man, and Trump's like the middle man. For closet racist, billionaire homophobes. I'm sick of your ignorance, dude. You act like you know. You got scammed more than the Taj Mahal, damn. I'm not surprised when half the population vote, and most view democracy as a fucking joke. A system rigged just to shit on its own kids. America, land of the fuckery, where a pedophile gets less jail time than me for selling drugs. Ain't that about a bitch? They took freedom and made it only for the rich. Then took health care and did the same shit. But we too brainwashed to see the bait and switch. Which is really sad, got us fighting each other. While the billionaires are pulling the country under. I love America enough to call out the flaws so we can make it better, not just build stupid walls. Yeah. That's the best you got, simple tins. You ain't got a job, so you blame it on the Mexican. We got war, so you blame it on the Taliban. Scapegoats for politician deep throats. It's pure smoke, and you can't smell the fire. I love my Uncle Sam, but he's a goddamn liar. Anything to make a buck, he don't give a fuck. Shit, could blow a whole country up. Yeah. The homie Halliburton, oh, what's up? They let our tax money cause we just give it up. Oh, it's free money, no cap bids on our kids' money. Star Spangled Banner built off free slave money. Blood money, Kennedy's head money. America's a dirty bitch, only out for the money. Because we let her, the people will even vote. Too busy YouTube and sitting back drinking coke. I ain't here to roast, just point shit out. You ain't woke cause you want my shirt and quotes. Kneeling is not about a flag. It is about the degree to which African American people and other people of color are continually uh, put upon by police people who do not ultimately respect them. The respect issue is right, except in this case, it has to do with African American people who are being mistreated by the police and other forms of noxious racism and discrimination that persist. It was a war on drugs and then a war on thugs. When they run out of reasons, bet they war on us. You really think they care about the color born on us? Nah, we're all just collateral damage Cause part of the planet's misunderstanding creates division And once we are divided, chances are we don't listen Things might change when it is us against the system Or they sell us like slaves Man, we start to think different then They still talking about the left and the right I wanna talk about the brains and who's controlling the flight I need to know who's at the wheel if I'm paying them wages And if they stick to a script, who created those pages? So many stages and a stockpile of actors They say that I am crazy cause I'm Pointing out the trap doors to double talk. Expected no more, no less. Can't say it ain't a con. What's the opposite of progress? Funny shit, we got a money pit. Now, overall, we need an overhaul, not a border wall. Call this a kind of sort of call to arms. For non sheep, not asleep, peeps protecting their farms whose weapons get drawn. To defend what's fact and what's right I give a damn if it's black or it's white I prefer my protection to be natural selection Second guessing the election regardless of who the winner is The president is only meant to preside Just a face for the space where corporations decide Who gets what, where they can get it, how much it costs The game is meant for them to gain, it's meant for us to take a loss I never claim to be a boss, I'm the 99% The employee at your job is doing work while he vents Folks looking at me odd like I'm giving off a scent might be they upper lips since they brown nose and kiss ass And since they kiss ass and brown nose Jim Jones is the bartender so I let them down those Mix drinks as they congregate and swap spit The 1% fooled us into thinking we ain't got shit We got numbers and we got motivation If the talk is taboo then we need them conversations That will calm down the rage Get us on the same page or we'll share the same cage When the shit hits the fan man Let me tell you who disrespects the flag A man who stands up and lies Daily. Let me tell you who disrespects the flag. A man who would get in bed rhetorically and symbolically with a person who has been seen as an enemy of the American state, Vladimir Putin. Let me tell you who disrespects the flag. A man who foments dissent uh, against the precious ideals of American society, who embraces neo-Nazis as equal to people who oppose them. That is the subversion of the American anthems and flags. A flag is a piece of cloth unless it is backed up by the high ideals and the noble aspirations for which this country fought and in which it has continued to bleed in order to realize the best for everybody. 
So when NFL players take a knee, they are not disrespecting a flag. They are not disrespecting an anthem. They instead are going down to make us rise up, to make us look up at the ambitions we hold dear that should be applied to everybody. And right now they're not. I am Mr. Flavor, and I am telling you, Boss Radio plays nothing but the best music. Father attack, my potential will temple of rap. The serpent attack, the serpent is a serpent to trap. Fixing the fact, and my diction will crumble and crack. Belligerent acts, and my music is actually rap. Envision the map as I travel to places so far, and I'm missing all the people that's gone. My father the strong, but he stumbled and wanted to storm. Not understanding that the lessons he was given was hard. He fumbled the bar, so I grabbed him the rage of the broad. They back the spawn, now I'm murdering any and all. Empty and hard, and I'm punished with thunders and swarms. The bus is trumping all the labels that's holding the cars. Focusing arms, not the weapons that's tied up with scars. The past of the jaw, these men are really the stars. I'm giving suggestions, I'm affecting your simple perception Before my conception, my spiritual was teaching these lessons And during inception, I get deeper than water reflection The ripple progression tells the continents and constant depression Musical senses, I evolved the pinnacle message I handle depression, while the lessons get handled with stretches Handed the treasure to provide the peace to an end The sight of the end of the rainbow is deciding the trend Master with it, and I studied the art of perfection My immaculate conception is now my music redemption I view through selection, most viable, highest of picks Off the screen, I maneuver through defending my mission is this, train soldiers and send them the blitz Anybody thinking they lyrical, moving their lips I'm moving like ships, cross oceans beyond the abyss Cause the motion music is moving, it's making me sick you and save with any of our skincare sets with either soap and oil or soap and butter or a combination of all three heal your skin and keep it with the shine and healthy enough to withstand the sun no matter what your skin needs Southside Beauty Care will continue to help you through those rough patches of skin to the smoothness of butter dripping off of your body mix and match it till you find a skincare regimen that's tailored for your skin and designed to obtain perfection Come to Southside Beauty Care and see what we have designed specifically for you. BOSS Radio, Southside Bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or the radio station, and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. This is the revolutionary now. 
Oh, man. Black Americans are receiving COVID vaccinations at a lower rate than white Americans in the first weeks of this chaotic rollout. Now, why? We're going to talk about that. But before we do, we need to actually discuss exactly the severity of what, what that means. And about 3% of the Americans who have received at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine so far. But in 16 states that released the data by the race, white residents have gotten vaccinated at significantly higher rates than black residents. And in many cases, two to three times higher such as the, in the most dramatic case, Pennsylvania has at least 1.2% of white Pennsylvanians that have been vaccinated as of January 14th and growing, compared with 0.3% of the black Pennsylvanians. Now you got to remember this is a this is a state that wavered on Biden's side during the election, and that goes to show you how split it is politically but racially as you can see it's still kind of you know a little wobbly a little, little uneven a little uneven un, un, unequivocally yoked you know uh, and you get to thinking about exactly what the, the, you know, Pennsylvania has Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and it, it, it has a large black community there. Need, needless to say, right? Large black community there. So why is it that only 0.3 percent of those of that black community has been vaccinated when uh, it's so many of them there? Well, there's a lot of factors, and the main one right now, which is the most popular one. Uh, Cause they, you know, this has been going on for a couple of months now. Is that simple fact that black people just still don't trust the United States medical industry, and for great reason, I'm one of those. Uh, but that's not the only reason. See, they, they 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 lead with that because they want you to think it's just a us thing. They want they want to make you think it's just just a you know just a black people are just animals and they need to be locked up and throw away the key anyways type of scenario no it ain't like that no no because it's not even a lot that many black people who do not want to get vaccinated compared to the people that do want to get vaccinated but have no access to it now we already know you've been hearing about uh the uh rollout of the vaccine being a lot a, a little uh, less than perfect <laughs> to needless to say uh, but uh, that has even been more in, in coming to the point where not only has it been a, a horrid release but it's also been a very very uneven distribution of it well black people aren't allowed to get it so I'm not going to go off and start to start talking about what I, why I think black people aren't allowed to get it and things of that nature. But we are going to stick to mostly facts here. And I throw in my opinion every now and again about the facts. But uh, the vast majority of the initial round of vaccines has gone to healthcare workers and staff is on the front line of the pandemic. So that's a plus. And that's a workforce that's typically racially diverse, made up of physicians, hospital cafeteria workers, nurses, and janitorial staffers. You know, with hospitals being uh, situated throughout your city in different communities, you kind of see, you, if you go to the hospital in your community, you see people from your community. You see people like you. Uh, that's why in every hood, <laughs> they have the county hospital. <laughs> That's the slave hospital. <laughs> Niggas die their boss. <laughs> but if this rollout was reaching everybody of all races as equally as they they uh, wanted it to be, or say they wanted it to be, then the shares of people vaccinated whose race is known would be loosely aligned with the demographics of the healthcare workers. But in every state, 
black Americans were significantly underrepresented among people vaccinated so far. And that's not anything new. That ain't nothing. We have we was three fifths of a person for the longest, and that was a come up. <laughs> come on now, so for people to be able to see us and not treat us like humans, that kind of is a given in the United States. Now the access issues and the mistrust that was rooted in the structural racism that appear to be the major factors that leave black healthcare workers behind in the quest to vaccinate the nation. It is a real balanced uptake among what seemed like a relatively easy uh, to vaccinate workforce, and, but it doesn't bode well for the rest of the country's dispersed populations. Now, what does that mean? That, that pretty much says that just because your hospital is all black don't mean that you're going to still get the vaccine. It doesn't mean that you can trust them enough to get the vaccine. But I ain't going to say trust them because they fighting to get it too. They fight to get it too. So again, this is a black and white thing. Straight like that. There is no gray area. It's just strictly black and white. I mean, is it not? I mean, even if you even if you brought in the Hispanics and with the Native Americans uh, that are dying from COVID at nearly three times the rate of white Americans, uh, you still get non-Hispanic blacks and Asian healthcare workers are more likely to contract COVID and to die from it then they're white workers Hispanics can represent any race or combination of races now this is where I want y'all to this is what I want to point out in this story they say Hispanics can represent any race or any combination of races right pretty much what they mean is they nationalities you know um, uh, Hispanic can be a Dominican Cuban Colombian Mexican Puerto Rican so on and so forth right but what they don't tell you is that black, if you actually look it up in Federal Directive 15 of the OMB uh, of the United States government, it might add, it says that blacks are a group of racial, is a, is a group of racial people, is, 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 is oh, excuse me, let me, get, I'm, I'm, I'm get it, I gotta pull it up because this is something that got to be uh, addressed. Because when they talk about race, you got to understand that concept because a lot of people don't understand that concept when they talk about race. And whenever they, whenever you don't understand it, you you tend to waver on what is being said. You think you know what they're talking about. You think they, you think they, they talk, you, you think, excuse me, <laughs> can't even talk right now. But anyways, you think you know that they're talking about you. But it says a black C. It's, it's, it's in Federal Directive Number 15, uh, Number 1, Section uh, Section 1, Clause C. Black. A person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. Meaning that there's different black racial groups. Now, but is it that sort of the same thing as Hispanic? Just wanted to point that out. But uh, I also want to point out that even though Hispanics, I mean, excuse me, blacks and Asians in the healthcare industry are more than likely going to catch COVID, you do not see, you see them vaccinated, but you don't see the rest of them now. That could be maybe because uh, those uh, nurses and those doctors and those healthcare workers prove what they can do for the new age. <laughs> I mean, maybe uh, they're safe from the Hunger Games. <laughs> Shit. Maybe they don't have to participate in the purge. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe they, uh, These are just theories. Not my opinions. Just theories. Uh, uh, or maybe they just, you know, uh, are, are better equipped to take care of people and then they just ran out of vaccines maybe that's just maybe that is what, what the truth is but how can you run out of something that you had already said you had well we go back to trump saying that they had a, a whole bunch of vaccines on reserve remember when he said that well that turned out to be a lie that turned out to be a lie according uh according to what we've been told uh 
Biden came out, and, uh, his team came out and said that, uh, yeah, they, don't have, they didn't have any vaccines. Like, we, or at least we don't know where they at, which means they don't have them. But uh, you have to be able to take into account that with these lack of vaccines, and they don't gave these people the first shot, and we have this new variant, these new variants come around, the UK variant, the Brazilian variant, the South African variant, uh, and they said that these vaccines would need a booster every year. You got, to, you got to be able to take all of that into account and register that yourself. How do you register that? I don't. I register that. I don't like how it's registered. I really don't like it. But that is what it is. So it looks like the structural racism, uh, according to Dr. Uh, Dr. George Benjamin. The executive director of American Public Health Association. It says that those groups were seen and not heard. Nobody thought about it. They wasn't thinking about getting access to the black communities. They were so adamant on getting it to the white communities that they totally dropped the ball when it came to these other races. And you cannot tell me they didn't. The numbers prove otherwise. When there's a significantly more people there's a significant more white people than there are black people, but yet for some reason the percentage per capita is so much higher amongst them. You would think that, hey, well, since there ain't that many black people, we can knock them out in just one fell swoop. If they was to do a one for one, they probably would be done with black people by now. <laughs> you know, because we don't make up that much of the population. We were killed off too. Shit. But, uh,. If they really want to get the trust of the black community, they really starting off in a horrible way. So, with that being said, how is Biden approaching race and these vaccines? Well, we're going to talk about that after a couple of songs. Because I want to discuss and show y'all exactly why, as black people... You should have been listening to what he had to say. And we're going to discuss that here shortly because, uh, again, I just don't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But y'all make sure y'all tune in, turn up his own knot, and uh, go ahead and uh, follow us if you ain't already following us at www.sprea. S P R E A K E R dot com forward slash M R underscore E and also hit that subscribe button if you're listening to us on your favorite streaming service Spotify, iHeart, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and more. And make sure y'all get ready because well, when we come back, we're gonna have uh, something that y'all desperately want to uh, discuss, especially as Black people. We need to talk about this because uh, well, we need you here when we come back. You heard me? You know what you're listening to. Revolutionary I wanna leave a mark and I wanna make it legendary What an emphasis on legendary Yeah I know I'm one of a kind Sometimes I wish I could be different But I can't change my fingerprint Change my fingerprint Change my fingerprint Change my fingerprint I cannot rap about no trap Cause I ain't sold no crap But if you've been here from the start You know I know about that Dysfunctional family, but wouldn't change it for nothing. I'm a scarred teddy bear with these stitches and buttons. Birth of brave creatures, I cannot sit up in these bleachers. I'd rather tell my story on these songs and these features. Look at your fingerprints, they are one of a kind. God has blessed you with the mind to direct the blind. And they ain't talking about the focal, so adjust your vocal. I know at times it seems the devil's got you in the chokehold. Just breathe. It's 18 and 21. I know we're talking about the fingers, but there's power in the tongue. I Speak life and breathe life in the walking dead I know some counted them out But I hope they change their head Matter of fact, change their heart Giving brand new stars Make them legendary like David They leaving their marks I wanna leave a 
mark And I wanna make it legendary What an emphasis on legendary But I found who I was Who I am is an artist without the deal of the buzz Except the gift and the curse But I'm a blessing in this verse Be a light up on the earth before my corpse is in the earth You know what I mean? You know Young I mean? people, you can be what you aspire to be Doctor, lawyer, the head of an embassy Ambassador for human rights You can lead the fight Just make sure that your strike is bigger than your human bite Don't just be talking Cause I'm talk without muscle Uh-huh and some crime, but don't hustle. They don't work hard at all. And they wonder why the stars don't change. <laughs> you can't grow without the growing pains. I often wonder the pain of Nessa Mandela. Then I'm taken to the quotes of Helen Keller. It says, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. So I say write it down, make it plain, and execute your vision. Mark, and I want to make it less.
picture while we steadily eat his family It's hurting me even more, I'm hungry Cause I'm no longer eating ham But he's trying to push it on me like a horse I know you peep in the final plan I'm gonna creep up on the grass But put eight kangas into that pocket I'm gonna get me enough to stop it I'm taking off fire up the rocket I'ma give me a body here Before they take me out like Johnny Cochran I'ma give me higher than a plane And get the fly like me and popping No stop it, let it be this dropping No telling, will I be a felon? Pain, let me tell him this game Back to the bank of that shit hip hop the hell it Trail it like a fucking loser You can let it be as bad to England We hate the bland food that you're cooking That's what we truly the whole world sees it Please, give me a final reason To blow this up like a radical Muslim Cradle to the grave I thought of the citizen This shit's puzzling Now I'm back home with my family About to click back up with cousins And we're gonna be fighting to the end You know we always have this struggle Proceeding all my wages 
I swear that I'm a dog locked up in society's cages. You people say I'm lazy, but you don't understand. It is not easy for a war veteran. So I'm crying out loud to the one who dwells above me. Hoping by chance that he does love ugly. I'm ugly. I got pain. Don't think you feel I got this right. As Mr. Flavor, I am proud to bring to you Mr. Is the Music Maestro. Oh man, Jacob is real and T Hattie with God Loves Ugly. Man, every time that right there hits a chord with me and wakes me up, boy, it gets me jamming. It gets me not just jamming, but thinking about life. You know, a lot of us don't do that lately. You know, we're too busy having fun, popping pills, wearing skinny jeans, <laughs> whatever have you, you know what I'm saying, hey, do you, I ain't trying to hate on you, you got your own thing going, but a lot of us, we don't even think about life no more, man, and thinking about what the next person is going through, because a lot of people don't care, you know, they they so selfish, they so, and then they, 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 they so selfish to the point where they don't even care that, about the people they showing them that they care, but you know. That's just, that's just the way love goes, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was just a random thought I wanted to put out there and ask y'all to you know, start thinking about life, man. Don't even just think about the next person. Just think about life, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't, you can't not think about life and you can't think about life and not think about the next person, you know, because without the next person, what is life? You know, I am legend proves that that ain't she. As soon as he lost his dog, man, that was it. He ain't psycho. He went trying to be friends with the goddamn zombie. You know what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, this is the enemy. <laughs> but uh, you know, you just gotta make sure you just look out for each other out there, man. It's a, it's a, especially after last year, man. We ain't come to come closer together and learn how to treat one another. That I don't think it. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. But with that being said. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, but yeah, like I was saying before the break, we was uh, going to bring up this uh, Joe Biden executive order, uh, or executive orders that he passed today, uh, that he signed today, he'll pass, whatever. Uh, but uh, he has, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to read the Hill uh, where it talks about Joe Biden, the five things that you can take out of Joe Biden's, uh, out of his uh, executive orders about racial uh, what is that racial what racial race? racial equity orders that's what they call it racial equity orders now uh remember we're not really talking about black people here okay so just just think about that all right so but the first thing that you want to uh do you want you want to take away from uh Biden's orders on racial equity is Biden makes expectations so far yeah. You know, uh, well, after the election was called for Biden in November, he pledged to have black Americans back when he took office. Even after he stated on The Breakfast Club that you're not black if you don't vote for him. I don't know. I don't know if it was a joke or whether a joke. Bad joke for me. Anyways, activists and civil rights group that lauded uh, increased black voter turnout as the difference maker on election day have been vocal about their intent to hold Biden to his word. Tuesday's executive actions, along with the executive order last week that de- directed the federal government to pursue a comprehensive approach to advancing equity for all, including people of color and others who have been historically undeserved, uh, under des- undeserved uh, were well received by civil rights groups. NAACP President Derek Johnson acknowledged that while it was early in the process, the executive orders were a great initial step. Uh, they go on to say that we acknowledge and commend the Biden Harris administration's efforts to make racial equality a legislative priority and to the peace uh, to their agenda. Advancement Project Executive Director Ju- Judah Brown Dianis said in a statement Tuesday. 
today's actions uh, pushes the, res the reset button on some of Trump's administration's most harmful policies. Um, now, as that being said, that is true, you know, and they should be committed for making racial equality a legislative priority. But see, uh, this is where I guess nitpicking comes in because I know a lot of y'all say black people just can't be happy. Well, I didn't ask him to do anything for people of color. You know, that's his compromising bargaining chip. And I'm like, okay, well, let's see what he ends up doing for black people when he does for people of color. That's, I think, is to be the number one uh, viewpoint right there. Let's watch what he got going on. Because if he don't actually do anything for black people, but he do something for Hispanics, if he does it for Asians, uh, if he does it for Africans, uh, if he does it for anybody other than the United States black person, uh, then we he can still say that he did something for people of color. So I think we need to watch that. Y'all all y'all already know how I feel about Kamala Harris. You know, um, a lot of people they want to say she's black. Well, well, that's great. But my thing about that is that you, it's a lot of pro-black people out there who for decades were screaming you can't be pro-black and date outside your race. And now they're on the bandwagon with Harris and, well, she's married to a white man. Has no black children. The children that she calls her own are completely white. So I feel a certain... I don't think that it's going to impede her judgment I mean I repeat her doing her job I think she's gonna do her job excellent that's not what I'm trying to take uh to trying to uh put that but uh, you gotta also remember she's also not ever really been in a civil rights b battle you know she's never took that mantle of being trying to be uh for civil rights you know so we really don't have anything to stand on except that she wanted to be vice president or she wanted to be president. So she said whatever she wanted to say. I remember there was a senator. Matter of fact, they are, the, 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 the senator is on um, Joe Biden's cabinet right now. I'm going to get her name later on, but she's an Asian lady. And she handed Kamala Harris her ass during the presidential debates, the Democratic presidential debates. So... You know, that's still fresh in my memory about that. So, uh, like I said, we got to watch and see what they do. I want to see what they do. We already know what they've done. And apparently, I'm not allowed to talk about that. Hypocrites, man. But, on to part two. Now, to uh, piggyback off of the last statement of what they said about uh, hitting the reset button on Trump's policies, orders represent rebuke of Trump's administration. Biden has already full, uh, fulfilled key aspects of his campaign promise to reverse many of the Trump era policies. That trade continued Tuesday with Biden's order on fair housing. The memorandum calls on the Department of Housing and Urban Development to examine the effects of the previous administration's regulatory actions that undermine fair housing policies and laws. It also reintroduces the affirmatively furthering fair housing rule, a key Obama era revision to the 1968 Fair Housing Act, wrote back by former President Trump. The provision creates an extra safeguard against discriminatory housing practices by requiring jurisdictions that receive federal funding to look for and analyze patterns of housing discrimination and then present a plan to address the practices if they exist. Biden also uh, signed an order condemning and combating racism, xenophobia, and intolerance against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in the United States. And see, this is one of those I don't want to take away from what they're going through. But again, people of color, but didn't have anything to do with black people. And I'm pretty sure white nationalism their number one enemy is black pride, black power, black anything, black lives. <laughs> I mean, we don't, again, not trying to take away from them. They definitely deserve to be protected. But the Asian Americans and the Pacific Islanders are really under attack like the black man in America. Not, I mean, you don't hear about them as much as you hear about black people dying. You don't. So, again, what I mean, 
about tiptoeing around race. But the executive action marks a significant shift in rhetoric compared to Trump, who regularly re- referred to COVID-19, which has killed more than 400,000 people in the U.S., as the China virus. The term was widely criticized and labeled as xenophobic, and figures indicate that it's been uh, an uptick in racial violence towards Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders since the coronavirus pandemic took hold in March. So they haven't even been in a year worth of uh, turmoil. And they already have executive order. They they, they had to cut that. They had to nip that at the bud. But yet we've been dealing with systemic racism for four hundred years. And well, we're gonna see what Biden's executive orders say about that. Okay, we're gonna get on that. The next one is uh, the, the number three of the five that we have to know is Biden's approach to racial equality. I mean, excuse me, racial equity is holistic. The executive order signed on Tuesday underscored Biden's game plan for racial equity by for- focusing on the entire federal government. Now, I believe this nation and this government need to change their whole approach to the issue of racial equity. Biden signed. The Biden said before signing the orders in the state dining room, "We need to open the promise of America to every American." And that means we need to make the issue of racial equity not just an issue of any one department or government. Of government, it has to be the business of the whole government. Biden has former ta- uh, he, excuse me. Biden has tasked former UN ambassador and Obama era national security advisor Susan Rice to oversee this pro- this process. A uh, senior Biden administration official said Tuesday in a call preview and the executive actions that Rice, now head of Biden's domestic policy council, will work with people like Catherine Lemon who was previously the chair of the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights to achieve Biden's goal. Again, I'm not seeing anything about black people to suffer this one thing. I am really pleased that the approach for racial equity would be embedded within the Domestic Policy Council, said the NAACP's Johnson, who previously called for Biden to create a separate White House advisor position for racial equity. It allows for more for a more robust approach to address systemic barriers as they may have existed within our policy or procedures for decades, decades, decades. We, we this is what we're getting so far. Not the executive orders. We ain't getting that. No, we get this is what our executive orders are. And point people to find out shit that we've already been knowing for decades and, and hundreds of years. But I mean, I'm, I guess I'm happy. Now this next one I am ecstatic about And I'm very I'm not being sarcastic or anything I'm being straight up I am ecstatic about this one The DOJ is ending its relationships With private prisons I am ecstatic about that You want to know why? Because of two things A It stops becoming a business So now They're not just going to be locking up people Just to be locking up people And B now, with private prisons being demolished, we can also stop incentivizing uh, people who get rape charges. They go to these private prisons that are law lush and plush and shit like that. Or these cops, they get to go to these private prisons that are all safe and stuff for them. And because they cops and they can't be a general population. Fuck that. Put them in a real prison. Put them in the real fucking... They broke a real crime. They committed a real crime. Put their ass in a real prison. Point plain and simple. Ne- nothing else needs to be said about that. At all. 